Whenever I post anything about child court, I get hit by the guys who say it's modern day slavery, they shouldn't have to pay. The problem is if there aren't rules and regulations requiring somebody to do something. Now there are people that will do the right thing. The majority of people won't. So they need somebody to force them to do it, to set up some sort of regulation that instructs them to do it and to have some sort of penalization that if you don't do it, here's your punishment. It's one of those things that I could talk about because I can see on both sides. I can see where people come that it's wrong. But I also do tend to believe that guys are stepping up. Going back in the 50s or so, you had the stay-at-home mom. She was the one who was taking care of the kids. She didn't work. Dads did. They were out working 40, 60, 80 hours a week because they made the money. That has changed significantly. And it's changed a lot because now we have stay-at-home dads where the moms are out working. But where it hasn't changed is there's so many relationships that while they're together, they still fall back and let mom take on all the responsibility. Mom's the ones that getting up at night with the kids. She's the one that has to call out of work sick because the kids are homesick. But then a divorce comes and dads want that 50-50, even though they haven't actually done it. And I think dads need to step up a little bit more and do more during the relationship because guess what? That's also going to help your relationship. Your relationship will be yeah. better if both people are participating equally. The law isn't set up to make me pay child support. It's set up to make a guy who wouldn't do it. What those guys are always missing is the law has to focus on the lowest common denominator, not the highest. If everyone did the right thing, then we wouldn't have a law about child support.